Hi Gemini, hi Gemini, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome to the channel and if you're new please hit the subscribe button and the bell then you'll be notified and hit the bell on all because there's three choices and otherwise you won't be notified and welcome back to my cyber angels thank you very much for your loyalty and your likes you came in second this week you were beaten by Pisces this week <laughs> And with Brenda Tarot uh, readings, you are number one there. <laughs> and I'm just doing the first three and then I'm going on to the other uh, videos and the other zodiac signs. Okie dokie. Well, Gemini, you've got a busy week ahead and I think some old issues are coming back. Let's have a look what is um, ca uh, going to happen this week. And before I go uh, further into the reading, please, um, if you would like to have an extensive reading, uh, either look at the information below the video or have a look at the information by clicking the white circle with the eye in the top right hand corner that it will take you to my website. Now I'm using the center card as the cyber angels know as the Quirin card or the overall energy card and Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday and I use the corner cards to clarify the tarot and you can also do this vice versa the, uh, the tarot can ver uh, clarify the Lenormand then we I've taken the white witch's tarot and I've pulled an extra one uh, just to see what uh, the extra energy is overall an Archangel Michael card for protection and advice and an answer of the angels right let's get started with the first card and the first card is the six of pentacles and this is my card for give and take share and share alike if you are more fortunate you might be giving a helping hand to somebody that's less fortunate right but in this deck it also reminds me of the six of cups because a ghost is somebody from the past that has gone over and I also look at it in a, a three-dimensional, four-dimensional way. So I look at it as the Six of Pentacles. Somebody from the past might come back and give you a present. In this case, it could be also somebody from the past coming back like the uh, go, that is passed over and they're angels now or the ghost, a spirit. And might leave you a sign. They might leave you a penny just to let you know that they are there for you or a feather or a butterfly might pass your window or something magnificent just a little sign so be aware this week you might get a sign from one of your ancestors okay if not it could be somebody coming back from the past um, because I like I said I uh, I see this card as two cards not only the six of pentacles that you could be getting a gift um, or that if you're less fortunate that somebody will give you a gift this could be money this could be a listening ear this could be love this could be uh, a roof over your head or an extra meal anything is possible with the six of pentacles and if you are less uh, if you are more fortunate you might be the one that's giving somebody a helping hand or a helping uh, listening ear or a gift but make sure you don't loan money because usually you do not get it back make sure you can get it back um, if you are lending money okay now you might have some sleepless nights Gemini because you have the nine of swords and it is shown as the nine of spiders put all your worries next to your clothes at night and give it over to the angels and the divine and so that you can sleep peacefully and rejuvenate and when you wake up then you can handle the issues at hand or questions much more refreshed than before but let the divine do its work 
believe you me, uh, I have experience with this. The divine does it in their own time, and it, they will give you the solutions that you need. Nine is also an ending, so something might be coming to an end. Definitely your worries, and there will be better and a new beginning. You might get a new idea that will help you with your situation or your question at hand, and that is your ancestor giving you a message. Okay, so if you get new ideas or in a dream, or just boom when you're sitting around doing nothing and listening to music, meditating or contemplating, and you all of a sudden get a new idea, that is somebody that has is covering your back as an angel giving you a message and that is what this card means as well so open your mind and be uh, receptive to new ideas so open your heart open your mind open your solar plex so you can receive the energy from the angels and the divine then you have the five of cups don't cry over spilled milk. Take the two cups that are still standing. You can change the present and you can change the future. If you open your mind, then you can see what didn't go that easy or that well in the past. And if you can see that honestly and clearly, then you can... Um, and then you have learned from the past then you can learn from the past and then you can do something about it so you don't fall into the same mistake get somebody's advice or help from somebody that is mature and older somebody that is has been perhaps through it as well and what did they do ask them what did they do ask for help don't shy away to ask for help okay there are plenty of people around you that will help you and i will tell you which people that could be now you've got the ace of cups look at that there is a new beginning it could be a cancer it could be a scorpio it could be a pisces that is willing to help you or giving you a helping hand the ace of cups stands for love passion nurturing uh, uh, sensuality and sexuality if you feel down and out and you haven't got anybody uh, you haven't got the material like mascara or eyeshadow or cologne or perfume to make you more attractive then somebody is willing to give you a helping hand or get a new idea right a new idea what well, I'll give you one idea if you want to look great and feel great even if it's for a day go to a perfume shop or a makeup shop or a makeup artist where they sell makeup and you can try out makeup and let them do um, what you may call it um, <coughs> a metamorphosis let them make you up and you feel fantastic it's free of charge like if you've got to go for a job interview in the afternoon then go to one of these shops and let them put the makeup on so you look good for a job interview but you could be meeting new friends because it's love and care and sharing okay they are always open people are always open um, to help and it surprised me this week because next week I have to go to, to hospital and I put it out on Facebook and I had so many beautiful responses unexpected totally unexpected from people that I didn't even e expect it from Wow thank you very much I am blessed and I have learned to open up and to have the courage to ask for help so don't shy away from asking for help now you've also got on at the weekend you have the nine of cups and you've got two nines so the angels have your back don't worry trust trust that they have your back your ancestors as well 
<coughs> they are with you. You're never alone. So look for the signs. When I'm doing my readings here, and sometimes, like now, you don't see me, but I'm looking outside the window, and sometimes there is a little feather that sort of floats by my window, or I see a dragonfly. And why should they come up to the second floor when they should be with in the bushes? That is magic. That is a sign. This is a sign your goal or your wish is going to come true. There is an ending to difficulties and there is a beginning to beautiful emotional fulfillment. The Nine of Cups is also the card of a wish. So, that is amazing, beautiful. Be open and see the beauty that is around you. Be grateful, show gratitude as well. Now, Gemini, you definitely have luck this wish in this week, especially in business. You have the King of Spades. That's the King of um, Swords. So if you are in a judicial situation, or if you have to go to a surgeon, or if you have to go to an advocate, because the sword stands for wisdom, they stand for justice, they stand for communication. And justice is municipalities and institutions. So even somebody like a butcher, because he works with knives, and a hairdresser with scissors, they cut as well. Hey, you could be beautifying yourself, like I said. Okay. Uh, where, I think it was with uh, this card. I can't remember. I'll have to listen, listen back to it. So there could be a king of uh, swords helping you with this. This king of swords could be a Gemini, as the king of swords is the Gemini, but don't exclude Libra or an Aquarium. Okay, and you've got number 30, which means a 3, which is creativity, okay? And the lily means luck in business or at work. Luck is on your side, and you might be seeking advice from a professional or from an older man that you respect, a mature man. Wow. You definitely have a man around you that cares because he's lying in the same row in the extensive reading. I also read the lines up and down and across and the diamond and the crosses. I'm just taking the weekly and the cards that go around it. So if you, because you'll get more information through that. So if you would like to have an extended reading, then please send me an email. Now we've also got the man, and this is, I would say, um, he's lying in the past, okay? But I'm using the man now to clarify these three. But there could be a man that will help you in a judicial affair, okay? <coughs> but this man, he seems that he's turned his back onto love if I was reading this um, in a in that way from the bottom to the top and from the top to the bottom he could be a man from the past and he could be um, you're wishing to have a relationship with a man if you're hooked up fine you might take it up to the next level because he might be a little bit bored at the moment because that's what he looks like to me that he's bored and he's waiting for love perhaps you've been also out of sorts and have not been taking care of yourself or been um, the si <coughs> on the other side, excuse me, be being strong and steadfast like a man. Perhaps that is what the message is here. Be more like a man. If, you're, if you are hooked up or if you're not meeting a man, the man is of the ace of hearts. Is the king? Uh, is an, uh, it could be a Cancer, it could be a Scorpio or a Pisces, but. Uh, this is a general reading, so uh, the Ace of uh, uh, Hearts is a new love, new beginning in love or passion or nurturing, because the cups stand for love, passion, nurturing, sensuality and sexuality. Perhaps you didn't want to 
have, have physical relationships and uh, because you've been out of sorts and you might have been uh, feeling uh, less fortunate um, because you've had a run of bad luck but your luck is changing because you've got the nine of cups here and the ace of cups so this could you've got two cards the ace of cups so there could be a new person entering your life a new love you might finally have um, met your soulmate perhaps this is you being steadfast boring because um, he does look bored there look at it he does look bored when am I going to receive love and he's thinking he's too much in his head just like a Gemini okay so I think you might have turned your back on love because the back his back is against this new beginning so open up that solar plex like I said before perhaps that's why you've had sleepless nights because you are madly in love with somebody and they've turned their back on you or you have turned their back on you um, perhaps you've been closed off so open up and open up to receive love nurturing passion and care don't close yourself off there is a new beginning okay and it could be somebody from the past could be it could be somebody from the past bringing you a present even a helping hand or listening ear if that is your wish be careful what you wish for because when it is here and um, it might not be the way you thought it would be so be careful wish in the right way like manifesting in the right way I want I would love for Johnny let's say Johnny to come back and to be able to stand on his own two feet and realize how much I love him or loved him and I could love again only if he has adapted to the old situation and learned new things that is how you put your wish out there make sure that you say it in the right way and not in a negative way okay now you have the tower you are ambitious and this is the six of swords the six of swords you've got the six of spades so you're moving away from troubled water and going on to quieter waters you might even be moving home or you could be going on holiday you might be crossing water okay that is the tarot or the cartomancy and here you've got 19 19 becomes a 10 1 and 9 becomes a 10 an ending new beginning you are ambitious but don't forget the people around you that support you that love you okay because when you reach the top it is pretty lonely if you have forgotten the people around you so make time for family and friends and let them know that you love them and that you care for them but you're very busy but take time out even if it's a couple of hours and make a phone call to those that you haven't spoken to for a long time it could be your man okay now let's have a look so you're moving away and we have already been seeing this gems for the last couple of weeks that the energy is changing and mercury has been in retrograde and the mercury will go direct on the 12th okay you might feel the change already happening this week um, but still be gentle gen uh, aware to um, look at details so if you are traveling then make sure you are, you've got the passports you know about the COVID rules that you've got the itinerary the roadmaps etc etc dot your uh, I's and cross your T's this week it's imperative don't turn your back okay don't turn your back on nurturing or caring go into detail take care if you travel okay that is what also what I'm hearing now 
um, you could um, if you are in a judicial situation um, then uh, because you've got the tower here and uh, it means to me institutions in the Lenemon and municipalities you could be getting a helping hand from an institution this could be a grant for a study this could be a, a grant for um, um, a judicial case okay or you might get money to um, actually um, uh, get help from a lawyer or a jurist or a social worker so to uh, like I said a study grant well schools are also institutions but um, that is the Lenamon card ambition but don't forget the people around you but there is so much more that you can see you might even uh, get a, a grant or something like that a loan for a house or for a marriage uh, certificate an institution church and a registry office and I think you have left the past behind and you have turned it around and you've learned from your uh, your past uh, and you've actually imp learned a he heck of a lot and I think you might be at the top but not quite yet at the end because we've got two nines here okay but we do have the, uh, the ten here so there is you're in the phase of changing but you are changing you have changed because you've learned from the past and you can take a gamble this week okay take a gamble take a gamble if you um uh let's have a look first come this way so you might get a gift or a grant to get help judicial help or you might get a grant for study which you didn't try to apply for in the past and you have now so you can move on and that might have given you sleepless nights worrying whether you'll get it or not and you've taken you can take the gamble and you will um, you could have positive results because you've got the ace of cups lying next to it right somebody could be giving you uh, a loan or a gift of money because you've taken the gamble to ask you weren't scared to to approach somebody and you've taken the gamble and you know what you don't want to do and what you do want to do because you might have gambled in the in the past by asking for help and not received it but now you know how to do it and you can back it up with evidence that you can pay it back or that you need it so that is the difference well James you can sell ice cubes to Eskimos you've got the gift of the gab so do the walk and uh, it seems like you are going to do it and I think you're going to reach the top wow because you've got luck on on your side you've got the king of swords here he is for honesty and justice and he will fight for you and cut straight through to the core and I think you will have that help and that money because you've taken a gamble you can take if you have nothing like that then you can buy a scratch card or buy a lottery ticket for a dollar and you might be successful because your wish is here okay whoa and the card that you have from the white witches tarot that is the world the world is your oyster what goes round comes round what goes up must come down unfortunately the world um, doesn't have any specific zodiac sign assigned to it but it does have all the elements so you can meet anybody here if you're looking for a new love if you are hooked up then your relationship might go up to the next level you might get this promotion and you might just just get the right information to make an end to a situation because the world also means an ending of a face and a new beginning you might be 
moving home, you might be going on holiday. Awesome. And this is also the karma card. What has, if somebody's done you wrong or good, they'll get it back threefold. The same with you. So, you will see a positive return on if somebody has done you wrong. Okay. Then we have Family Protection, Rainbow Blessing. This is a yellow card, which is the golden card from Archangel, Meta uh, Archangel Michael. Sorry. Archangel Michael advises you to invoke the rainbow light spectrum. It will bring protection and blessings to your family and loved ones. So sit in meditation and think of the rainbow and try to envision the rainbow and its spectrum and surround yourself and those who you love with the rainbow spe spectrum and that was your protection for the coming week. And what did I say? Trust. And you've got the card trust. Trust that everything will be alright and that you can let it go at night for the angels or the divine. Ask them for help and show gratitude, even for the smallest signs. And remember, look for the small signs. There's somebody else up there, like a, a father, mother, grandmother, grandfather, or any other member that's passed over, is sending you a sign of love and luck because the nine of cups is next door to it the future is going to be better don't worry you don't have to cry over spilled milk because the new love and the new beginning is here there is might be a man a mature man here two cards the man card and the mature man card they will help you and they will fight for you and get to the truth and give you victory in your wish i hope you've enjoyed this reading gems take care and remember the world is your oyster you can choose you stand in your power take care god bless and be blessed and please subscribe and hit that like button thank you Thank you for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it and remember have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all and i'll see you in the life monday wednesday or friday ciao ciao